Yo. What's up, Tim? Hey, nothing much, man. How was your day? Uh, good. Move good. Along. Well, how does it feel to be the king of retro? Uh, I, I feel like a heel right now. Why? Uh, nightmare all the way through, uh, and then just kind of sacking it with Raptor. A bit. No, you. Hey, honestly, literally no sacking to be had at this uh, at that event. That was fantastic gameplay through and through. Truly, okay. um, the the first three games were, I'll be honest, terrible. <laughs> But you learned to play the character as you went, which is like, like so cool to sit down and watch. We were flaming you because you don't know what you were doing, but we got to sit and watch you learn to play this deck through throughout this last round. It was so wow, it was so good. Fun fact: besides that, uh, I think one test game yesterday or the day before mm -hmm. that that match that you guys saw was my first time actually playing this character. Like ever? Trying to play it. Yeah, ever. You just won a tournament. You just won a tournament. The 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 retro invitational with a character you've never played before. Uh, do you count turbo demo decks? As Tim Keefe says, we could tell. <laughs> 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 oh. Do you count? Do you count turbo decks as uh, playing a character? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, first? yeah. Understanding the mechanics and whatnot. Sure, you could count right. turbo draft. What if they're all commons? demo to teach people well maybe not then because that that's my only real experience with with raptor wow 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 well hey jacob congratulations man you were from the very beginning you were my pick to win this whole thing hey i could tell by the uh the lack of phil birch in the event yeah it was easy it was simple <laughs> i just forced him to commentate never make a tts a never go to a tts event it was it was amazing yeah so how do you feel about um the past six retro events as a whole I'm a little biased, not because of winning, but because this has been kind of my only day off I've been able to take from running our uh, the shop. Which is? OS. Uh, Final Round Game Shop, yeah. And you can find <laughs> that at? FinalRound.Games. Oh, okay, okay. FinalRounds.Games. You got dot .Games. That's really impressive. I got dot .Games. Wow. Yeah, go get singles and such from there. That's rad. That's very, very cool. Yeah. And so the only time, the only break that you have is come to these retro events, come in kicking ass, you squeak in at 14th seed, correct? Yep. And you run it all the way up through winners until grand finals where you get molly whopped <laughs> and then make the comeback. Yeah, they wouldn't let me play Nightmare. Or Sam wouldn't let me play Nightmare. Oh, that was a uh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> afraid. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So uh, with that said, um, you kind of found this pet deck in Nightmare. Did you enjoy playing Raptor in the final round? Is it something that maybe you want to like broaden your horizons and play more characters i mean if he doesn't get banned sure you mean raptor Dude, yeah oh okay kind of oh fair enough no, i i generally play a lot of random stuff especially like after tournaments like yeah uh usually i have a list of like 10 decks by the end of the day it's like i want to try this deck 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 for Nightmare sure it's just like the only the most thing i've had the most play tests with okay and the build i played today was not a build that i had tested it was kind of like yeah, I don't know. We'll try it. How do you? How did you feel about uh, the format for the Invitational? I actually really dug it. Yeah, I, I really dig the double elimination three deck uh, banner thing a lot more than I thought I would. Really? What were your? What was your preparation in coming into the event? I built the nightmare and then I copied uh, Reagan's Shiva deck because Shiva. Yeah. Uh, and then we, me and uh, my teammates, Chris Miner, Justin Forrest, and uh, Paul Casagrande, kind of messed around with the Raptor, Red. going basing off of like the, all the Raptors that had topped. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, um, Jacob, speaking in at 14th uh, place, do you have any words for the people out there as the, as the king of retro, the best retro player of 2020? You won the first season, man. Play retro. It's fun. It is very fun. It is very fun for sure. I wish also I... Also, play playtest. Also, hey, t word to your mother. Play play playtest <laughs> for sure. And play playtest and give in the sheets. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? I, hold on. I'm getting yelled at. What? 
Why, how are you getting yelled at? You're the champion. Nobody should oh, be yelling at you. Mention the stream? What stream? Your stream's on oh, Facebook. Oh, my stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, so, don't worry, Jacob. I'm a professional. We were going to get there. Cool. So, fun fact. Uh, I'm playing at the store at mm -hmm. our location. Right. My wife was working the store, and in between rounds, I was able to help her <laughs> at the store. <laughs> and I have a couple of our UFS players who, um, at 3.42 in the morning, have stayed here the entire time. Yo, I, that is dedication. I have, an, I have an audience of one, two, three, four. That's amazing. I'm, they owe you a round of beers for sure. Oh, can it be whiskey? Those don't have carbs. Hey, man, you you drink. <laughs> you're the champion. You're the king of retro. You get to decree however you wish. So <laughs> if there is another retro event, which hopefully we have had a ton of support. I had 40 people in stream watching this today. Yo, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, are you playing in the next one? Uh, should be, yeah. For sure. Gotta schedules permit. Defend defend your title. Yeah. And I'm. we're going to try and promote it in the store, too. Please do, please do. How, how sick would it be to have like a land party? That would be rad. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I haven't so, done a land party since RTS days. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jacob, any final shout outs that you'd like to give before I get Tim Keefe on here to close out the first retro 2020 season? Shut up. Well, here, Jacob Harley, the guy who flipped or ripped at a shotgun today. Shout outs <laughs> to him. <laughs> wow uh shout out to my wife leslie for actually working every day so i can actually play in these damn things uh and <laughs> i'm getting the, i'm getting the middle finger for the flip it or rip it <laughs> uh did i say tim keith i meant i didn't i meant tim friedleaf i'm so sorry i'm so sorry biggest been... shout out i can give to tim for running these events absolutely and Biggest shout out to you and Phil for commenting, streaming, and also broadly because he does that a couple times. Uh, shout out to everybody who came with me. Uh, this, the, this, these streams were literally not possible without the support of the universe's community. Whether it be hanging out in stream, whether it be co-commentating with me. There at one point where we had five people commentating one match. That was a little much. I learned that. But uh, <laughs> like the, the, this stream would not have been successful without all of you, obviously obviously so from me sorry to take your spotlight jacob thank you guys everybody in the community you're good thank you thank you and for thank real you. thank you for the streams too because they've been just great well you are very welcome you're very welcome so uh we have the tim keith event are you gonna sign up for that is that the plan happening uh, on the gotta, 30th i just gotta make sure i have something that can work okay okay uh, my wife is apparently gonna join so that's weird join the the event yeah yo that's amazing it's going to be like her first big tournament. Everybody, exclamation point, uh, Rochester CCG in the chat. Get signed up right now before the yeah. 32nd and you, or 22nd. Get, and you get, get it before it goes up. Absolutely. Absolutely. No reason to spend extra money. Go, yeah. go still Tim Keith's cards. Um, yeah. Uh, the shop's donating uh, two DLCs. Street Fighter DLCs is a uh, raffle prize for it in the first round. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So uh, the last shout out was a, a stream, correct? Yeah. Oh yeah, the uh, so our shop, Final Round Game Shop, Final Round Games, or if you just search Facebook, Final Round Game Shop, mm -hmm. or Twitch, Final Round Game Shop. Uh, every once in a while, until I get a uh, more set schedule, I've been opening booster packs on stream, and we've been doing things where uh, we give away the box toppers to a random person in the stream. Uh, we do a guessing game where I cover up most of a card, and whoever gets it gets a free booster pack of that uh, set. That's uh, amazing. Tim Keith, I owe you a pack still. Uh, I'll get that sent. <laughs> My bad. Um, and then we'll do. We're doing a lot more. Uh, all of our players want to start streaming games, like Yo. their matches. Uh, also, they want to do a podcast. If you want uh, any help, I know a guy who has done this for a bit. Hey, uh, I hear he's a dashing-looking fellow in a suit. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Philbert took his suit off at there at the end, so. And I missed it? Damn. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Everybody missed it. It wasn't on camera. But yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. More more content to come out of a final round card shop. That's exciting. Hell yeah. The more content, the better. High tides raise all ships. I agree. All right, man. Awesome. Jacob, congratulations. Please go uh, hug your wife. Uh, kiss your <laughs> uh, clients. Uh, it, this, <laughs> has been, this has been a, a, an absolutely amazing time. Congratulations on your win. Uh, make sure you rub it in everybody's face. On on your Discord handles, please change your name to the King of Retro for me. 
please. Uh, I will do that just for you, Tim. All right. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. We'll see you. Good night. Hello? Hey, Tam. Yo. How's it going, man? Uh, I'm all right. A little tired. I can't imagine how tired you must be. With the I, long I am very tired. I went to bed at approximately 6 o'clock this morning, or yesterday morning, because I realized that I had not made graphics. Yikes. Yep, I know how that can feel. Yeah. F-R-I-E-D-L-I-E-B? I before E, yeah. Yes, I before E twice. Love that. Okay. Um. So, hey, Tim. What's up? Congratulations. You have successfully made it for through an entire league series of a set of tournaments, something that Jasko has only done once for Turbo and then killed and ended in such a spectacular fashion. Congratulations, man. Yeah, uh, don't have a prize as awesome as a car this time, hey, that's but, okay. <laughs> but, you know, I think that it was, uh, it was pretty good, you know, uh, and I think we all had a lot of fun. For sure, for sure. So, give me a recap of the six retro events, now that you've taken a step back from them, not this one, because we'll get to it in a second, were you happy, were you... What are you? What are you thinking for the next one that I'm sure you're going to announce right at the end of this uh, conversation? <laughs> uh, we don't have anything planned out just yet, but That's although uh, you know, if people are still willing to play them, I'll probably still keep running them. Uh, we'll probably do it a little bit less often. Okay. I know that people expressed uh, an interest in. In keeping the format running, especially in lieu of in-person events, but uh, you know, it takes up a lot of people's weekend. So you know, maybe maybe a little bit less. Maybe instead of like every month, maybe it'll be every six weeks or maybe every two months. Something like that. I like that. It's a good compromise. I like that. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about this event: sixteen-man sure. double elimination. Something that Jasko's never done before. How do you how do you feel about it? Success. Uh, success and, you know, some, some learning pains, right? Uh, yeah. there, I think, uh, next time we do something of this type of a scale, probably split it up between two days. Okay. Uh, and may maybe that's not necessarily two days back to back. Maybe it's like two weeks in a row, something like that. Sure. But, yeah. um, it's a little bit long and, uh, you know, uh, it gets to people. So, you know, playing at the end of a 14 hour day or 50, now it's. What a sixteen-hour day that we've had almost. Yeah, I have um, been live for sixteen hours. Yeah, that can be really, really, really rough. So uh, yeah. you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't try to fit everything in. Uh, I am glad that we were able to finish. Yeah, but uh, you know, so there's some things we learned. Uh, but overall, I think it was uh, really well done. Uh, next time, I'll try to have this uh, ironed out more than two weeks before the event happens. That's fair. Uh, Every time that you've done one of these events, they, the time has gotten shorter and shorter and shorter. So we have a new format, and so the time lengthened back out again. I bet next weekend, if we ran this whole thing again, we'd shrink it down by two, three hours, for sure. That'd be, I mean, that'd be cool. So we're down? We're doing <laughs> Not it next, next weekend? weekend? No? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> no. Nah, man, I, I need a Saturday, dude. I gotta, I gotta go hang out with my pup next week how exciting how exciting okay um we can't announce the next one although i am crossing my fingers let's like everybody at home that it is happening um any if this was a success do you see more standard events in the future do you see turbo happening in the future do you see other formats coming up uh and and happening is that a thing that yeah. just goes open to uh, I definitely think it's something we're open to. It would probably require us to get a little bit more, um, uh, less direct supervision over all the events, I guess, mm -hmm. is what I'm uh, thinking. For sure. Uh, similar to what we were going to be doing with last year's PTC event, where uh, 
it would still be run by the store and unless by a Jasco official. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely open to more events provided that we can get someone to run everyone uh, just yeah. because, you know, there's only so much time that we can, we can lend with our, uh, with our staff right now. So, right. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. And you would like to have a day off to hang out with your dog. I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I have some, I have some board games I still haven't played in like a year, so hit me with one. Uh, I got the um, what's it called? Elysium, the oh. level ninety nine train game. Where uh, I think that's what it's called. Um, uh, I love Marvel Champions, and I haven't been able to play that in a while. So I okay. want to uh, get a game night together on uh, on like tabletop simulator or something. Red, so. red, red, red. Okay, well, do you have anything extra? That you want to shout out? Um, I mean, shout outs to all the players. I'm super. Uh, congratulations to Jacob, and uh, you know, also to Sam for playing such a fantastic uh, match. You know, they uh, that was that was a real fun match to watch because the you know the comeback for Jacob. So that was really nice. Yeah, the um, storylines happened. The, yeah. the reason of running the double elimination tournament was to make the story happen, and we got it. And we 100% got it. Yeah. Um, and then everyone that played, it, it was a lot of uh, a lot of fun to watch people go through and, and think, oh, who do I not want this person to play? You know, yeah. I think OC, OC Tyson didn't get to play Nightmare at all today, right? And that's his character. Yeah. Or that's like w one of the characters he's really known for. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like that's one thing that was, you know, uh, unfortunately, Chris Bromley didn't get his chance to play Yoshi, and he loves that character so much. Uh, so it was just really kind of cool to watch and see, uh, you know, what people played, what they cho chose. Like, uh, what is it, William Anderson the third? He had what Mitsurugi, Mitsurugi that, one dot. Yeah, Mitsurugi, wow. and then what was uh, he had another that I, uh, choice that I was like, huh. Mitsugi, Interesting. I don't know. If... Iori and I think Shiva. Honestly, I could look back. Oh again. no, he did have that. That was someone that was playing a character that I wasn't expecting. But yeah, Mitsurugi and then you know Sam today with Morgan. Yeah, there's some some uh, deck choices that were um, not just take the monsters of the format, which mm -hmm. I thought was really nice. For sure. So that was really cool to watch. Yeah, I completely agree. All right, Tim. I'm going to do my sign out here with you because I don't have a scene where it's just my face all by myself. Chat, thank you guys so absolutely much for hanging out with me for the past six retro series as well as today. Um, we have put over, at this point, 70 hours into these events. So thank you for being here for all 70 of those. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, please, if you haven't followed the channel, go out, hit the, all the exclamation points in the chat. You can see the ads scrolling right now. Um, Jasco, YouTube, Unfun Stuff, Rochester, CCG. Um, please go su support them because they've been so kind as to support me and support us. Um, so with that, Tim, unless you got anything else, man, I think we're going to call it here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Do some play tests, play some uh, games for fun, and yeah. have a good night. All right, everybody. Stay well.